Good morning, Virgo. How's everybody doing? I've had such a busy past couple weeks with my business. Everybody got their stimmies and just started spending like crazy. So I've been really tied up with making products and delivering products. And so I had to pretty much take a week or so off from um, videos, maybe two weeks. I was doing good. <laughs> I had some momentum going. I was like, yay. You know, and last month I had a lot going on. It was like, I was going through, you know, a lot of changes last month and it was all I could do just to, you know, pull my energy together to do what I needed to do. And I said, well, I've been going hard on this channel for a couple of years now and I think I can take a month off and I'll be good for another two years. <laughs> so I apologize. I just, I really had to work on some things. So... All right, and I'm going to start pulling my Energy Oracle cards. I said, man, they're going to be mad at me. I said, I'm coming. I keep saying that. I'm coming. Come on, I need a card for Virgo. Do not ooh, be difficult today. And that one definitely wanted to come out. I'm being guided to pull one more of this deck. Sorry. At least we're getting my clock chimes out of the way. Card for Virgo. Boy, they're being difficult today. speaking to me and I have never had that card in my life that is brand new I have never had that one I ordered a new deck and um, somebody making me some uh, handcrafted runes which I'm very excited about using and I got a new deck of I think it's Oracle cards coming in I can't even remember what I ordered it should be here tomorrow that one was trying to come out big time. I couldn't hold on to it. All right, what else do I want to draw? I want to draw my Witch's Oracle. Sorry, I'm a little slow moving. I've never had that one either. That is a new one on Tracy. I have never had that one. I have two cards I have never had. Three, four. Interesting. I love having new cards that I've never read before. I need one more for Virgo. Hmm. Interesting. I've never had that one either. All right, we have two of fire centering. You have a lot going on, Virgo. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, with this two of fire centering, um, finding your center is hard. I mean, this is something that I've been kind of working on lately. And um, basically what you do is you find out what really resonates with you on a soul level and um, you discard anything that doesn't. And you'll often be surprised that it's, you know, the things that you toss out are things that you just never would have dreamed of because you really thought that they were part of who you were. Um, but I feel like you're kind of moving into this energy of realizing like, man, what am I doing? Because what I am doing or what I have been doing, absolutely, it's, it's, this is not it. <laughs> it's got to be something else. Um, and so when you are thrown off your center, it can affect you in all kinds of ways. Like, you know, it can cause you to feel depressed, anxious, because, um, you know, those things that once gave you joy don't. And then, you know, you find yourself in that things that, you know, you never even dreamed of, you know, that all of a sudden these are things that you were very interested in. And um, this can change overnight. 
And, um, you know, this is kind of, you know, what I've been going through the past couple of months. And, you know, we are a collective energy. And so I've noticed that when I'm going through things, others are too. That's why I always try to share, you know, my stories of what helps me. Um, because to uh, clarify this card, we have attachment. Now, attachment is what causes us all kinds of pain. Um, you know, maybe we're not meant to stay in a relationship for 10 years or we're not meant to stay on a job for 20 years. Maybe we're meant to like just have many different experiences. Um, but, you know, we get stuck, you know, with this attachment and societal expectations. Well, this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I should be doing something else. This is that energy. It's because you are attached to people and situations. Um, and you got to understand that whatever situation comes your way, it's being divinely guided. Um, things that are supposed to fall away, fall away. And, you know, oftentimes if we don't make the decision um, to move, to do something else, the universe will just kind of tip the boat over um, because it's time for you to move. And especially when it's something um, that is being soul driven, that your soul wants you to experience, you will have that experience. So it's really good to release any type of attachments and realize that what, what helped me the most was telling myself what I what is for me, I will have in the most perfect way. And what is not for me, um, I will know because it'll fall off on its own accord. So um, don't resist and, you know, um, just kind of learn to go with, the, go with the flow and not be so serious. Don't think, take some, things so seriously, Virgo. Um, we have the uh, High Priestess card. This is Isis. And this is basically about stepping into your power. And your power is in this non-attachment. This power is in your ability to go with the flow and to anytime something comes up, to be able to look at it. Be like, okay, this has shown up. So it's either A, this is something I need to learn. I need to master this. Or B, this was some kind of fear that I had. I was scared this was going to happen. And lo and behold, I man manifested it into my existence. And here it is. So you know what? Then don't judge it. Look at it and tell yourself, okay, you know, it is what it is. And um, there's no, nothing I really need to figure out or know about this other than the fact that this is something that, you know, is showing me something and I'm going to look at it. Um, we have the angel of strength. So we have, you know, lots of, you know, this, this feminine energy coming through, this intuitive energy of um, really being in touch with your intuition. Um, and guys, you guys have it too. We all have like both of those um, energies, the masculine and the feminine, but the feminine is the intuitive side. And so this is really getting in touch with your intuition. And oftentimes we think this is thinking, this is our mind. It is not your mind. Um, it is really sitting with something, really processing your feelings. Something comes up, something happens, sit down and ask yourself, how do I really feel about this? Are these really my feelings or are these someone else's feelings I've taken on? Um, why do I feel this way? Um, you know, and just kind of taking some time to kind of process it. And um, once you do that, then you will align to something completely higher vibrational because it's like, that's old energy. You know, when that happens, oftentimes I'll come through here with sage. I'll sage my house real good. I'll take a spiritual bath. Um, I'll meditate. Um, just anything to kind of get into that new energy and to leave that old stuff behind. Because the more you focus on it, the more it keeps coming back around. And you keep recycling it and it keeps coming back. So you want to let it go. All right, we have Maiden Beauty Earth. And to clarify that, this card, um, I'm going to pull um, one of my little fortune telling cards. I'm surprised I didn't pull one already because I want to get some clarification on this. Give me a card for Virgo. All right, so we have Maiden Beauty, and it's actually clarified um, by death. So basically what I'm getting this with this card are standards of beauty. Um, 
And I feel like that's another thing that maybe doesn't resonate with you anymore. I know um, for myself and, you know, no judgment whatsoever, but I used to have, you know, hair weave, lashes, nails. <laughs> I don't think I had two things on my body that were fat, that were real. I had spray tan, um, you know, and I'm not taking away from these things. Um, but as I kind of, you know, kind of started to love myself just as I was, I was like, you know what, I became kind of more or organic, more authentic, um, because I kind of took off my mask and I was like, you know what, I'm, this is me all day, you know, take me or leave me. Seriously, I'm comfortable, I'm happy, you know, so it is what it is. Um, so, you know, I feel like this, these are those beauty standards, you know, and you can look online and everywhere you look is like ads to lose weight, you know, so you can be skinny and you can be this or that, you know, but when did these really become beauty standards, you know, back in like, you know, the, you know, 1920s, 1930s, I'm just throwing something out there. You know, women were a lot, you know, they were a lot thicker. They weren't twiggy, you know, the twiggy of the 70s. Um, so really, you know, kind of check in with that. What are your standards, you know, and make sure they're for you and they're not for other people or, you know, trying to compete or keep up with other people, you know, because as humans, we tend to do this. Um, and so with this death card, um, I feel like that's it. You know, a lot of the, you're just being challenged, you know, that a lot of these beliefs have died. They no longer resonate. You know, you're kind of putting them away, um, putting away, you know, um, 3D expectations, societal expectations, you know, putting them to rest. All right. So we have this art oracle card, Henry and Mattisay. I say that. <laughs> Unleash the beast within, productivity even in pajamas, sketch boldly and paint with a big stick. So unleash the, the beast within, this actually clarifies that maiden beauty. I do feel like this goes along with that for the simple fact that, you know, un unleashing, you know, letting your soul shine through, you know, who, like I said, who you really are, um, you know, without feeling like, you know, you have to cover that up or you have to pretend. I mean, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here is really, you know, be authentic because when we're authentic, that is when we align to things that are really for us. And because, you know, when you're not, then you're going to get something and then you're going to be like, what is this even? So that's the energy I'm getting with that productivity, even in pajamas. So, you know, I know a lot of people are still working from home right now. So that is kind of the energy that I'm getting with this is that, you know, a lot of people are feeling like, man, you know, I'm just really ready to get back to work. People are ready to do about anything, you know, right now to go back to work, you know, even, you know, um, not even fully doing their research on, you know, what's out here, you know, as far as, you know, your health and your body goes. Um, just to get back to work right away because, um, you know, feeling so isolated. And so that's kind of this energy that I'm getting here, you know, that, um, you know, this time was for you to really um, get go within and really get to know yourself um, and be more disconnected from other energies coming in. Um, and so this time was really a gift, um, not a curse. So if you can kind of look at it like that and kind of work with the time that you have left before you get back to the rat race, because like I said, this really was a gift. Um, sketch boldly and paint with a big stick. So once again, that's all about self-expression, about expressing yourself, about being who it is that you really are. We have Quan Yin, Empress. So, you know, we have Isis and we have Quan Yin. Um, and then you have, you know, this angel of strength. So your spirit guides want to let you know. And somebody is very, so very closely associated with Isis or maybe Quan Yin. Um, as goddesses. Um, and so I feel like this is going to be a sign of confirmation for some of you. Um, but there is um, this message wanting to come through that you are being divinely guided, you are being um, protected, you're on the right path, um, you are being supported, you know, with these this goddess energy. All right, so we have knowledge, study, learning, and education. And so I feel like someone's been wanting to maybe even go back to school. Maybe you're doing school at home in your pajamas right now. Um, and once again, you are on the right path. If you've been thinking about going back to school, 
Um, now's the right time. I know I've been thinking about going to school. I'm just trying to make sure um, my energy doesn't change. My energy changes so fast. I'll like be like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then I'll never finish. So, um, you know, really being able to commit to something. Um, but, you know, if you have been thinking about going back to school um, or even if you've been studying a subject, um, this is your sign. This is your message that you're on the right path. And this is something that you should do. The time is right. All right. So we have Lilith power. I love these cards. Lots of powerful feminine energy. Um, and so I do feel like I have a lot of females watching this. Um, maybe single mom struggling, going to school, um, working. Um, just need, you know, a little confirmation that everything is going to be all right and everything is fine. Um, and with this power card, um, and I was talking about power earlier, even with this high priestess, this power coming in, that is just amazing that you are stronger than you realize. That message just came through too. Um, do not give up. Um, if you need to take a break, take a day off, take a mental health day, um, that is perfectly all right. But you got this, but you are making things harder than what they have to be. Um, everything is not a struggle. Everything is not a battle. Um, everything comes, you need to, you know, practice mantras thing. Money comes to me easily. Um, I am abundance, you know, and follow your statements with I am. Holiday. The answer you're looking for can be found during a holiday retreat or hol holiday getaway. Yes. So somebody has a trip coming up and I feel like your love life is going to take a turn on this trip. Um, this person that you're going on this trip with, um, this is going to be, um, kind of ascend you to the next level of intimacy and you're going to take your relationship to the next level. Um, this trip is being divinely guided. It is, um, protected. Everything's going to go the way it's supposed to. I know sometimes we worry about details, um, and if you have been thinking about a trip, once again, the time is right. The time is right to go to school, continue your education, um, take a trip. You got all these feminine um, energies, this, these goddesses um, that are that have your back, um, female ancestors, um, somebody's female ancestors coming through um, and th with this Angel of Strength card. All right, we have Nine of Wind, Criticism. And this criticism is you. This is your own perfectionist OCD mind of um, everything has to be perfect. And if it's not, you're very critical. And we have to be very careful, too. Um, it's one thing to be critical of ourselves and kind of judge ourselves. But it's something else to do that to someone else entirely. Because you have to accept the fact that this person is, they're different than you. They have a different upbringing. Um, they have a different way of communicating, a different love language, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you have to really look at that. And that is where um, intuition comes into play, too, because oftentimes things are unspoken. We just need to know them, um, and especially when you've been dealing with someone for a while. You can look at it and be like, oh, you know, whenever this person is feeling, you know, scared or insecure or frustrated, they act like this. You know, just knowing little things about someone just makes a big difference. And that really does help you to become more intimate. All right. We have Ostara Incubation. This one I said I've never had this card before. Somebody might be having a baby. <laughs> If you are thinking you're having a baby or if you're wanting to have a baby, the time is right. This is your sign. Um, yeah, I'm not really getting anything but pregnancy with this one. That's all that one is. All right, so we have pessimism, seven of wind. Once again, this is that mental chatter. This is that staying awake late at night, um, overthinking, stressing about things, um, mostly about the past, about, you know, um, perceived mistakes, things that you felt like you did wrong. Um, and once again, the message is that you didn't. It has led you right to where you needed to be. And what did those things teach you? You know, we are so scared of doing something that we're going to fail that um, a lot of times things get left undone or, um, you know, but um, 
trying and failing builds resi resilience. This is where your resilience comes from. So um, don't chuck it in the, the bad bucket, so to speak. You know, try not to judge it. Just, you know, it just is. All right, so we have... I do not have my little cheat sheet with me, so I'm going to have to read this intuitively. Um, you know, we have this little elf here. She's got the flower. She's got the um, four-leaf clover. And there is a relaxed energy to this. You know, we, we've gone from this wind, this pessimism, to this. To self-acceptance, self-love. Um, really being able to be in the moment, enjoy the day. Um... You know, I saw a meme the other day and it was like the woods and it said, you know, who can ever be in a bad mood when they're in the woods? And that's true. You know, go out in nature. Um, but this is, you know, really finding that centering that we started with. You know, it's like, you know, that fool energy where, he, you know, he starts off on his journey and then he has all these experiences and then, you know, he's right where he should be. And that's kind of what I'm getting with this energy. Um, is that you are moving towards, you know, calm waters, this self-acceptance, this self-love. Um, but, you know, these messages here are for you to really look at. Um, they were specific to some. This is a collective reading, but if anyone would like to have a personal reading, do reach out to me. They are $50. I'll include my email address in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.